Recall that there are three parts to the line side of the ladder diagram. L1. Rungs, and. L2. The current flows into the line side of the circuit through L1. Once L1 is energized, the current flows across each rung of the ladder diagram. This assumes that the rung is a closed connection. If the rung has an open switch, the current will not flow across the rung. Once the current crosses the rung, it arrives at L2. The current flows back to the top of L2, and then the process begins again. This process happens almost instantaneously. It is broken into steps here to make it easier to understand. Recall that symbols on the same rung of the ladder diagram are part of the same circuit. For example, look at the ladder diagram in the image to the right. You can see that the compressor and compressor contactor are on the same rung of the line side of the diagram. Since the components are on the same rung, it becomes easier to understand the circuit logic. If the contactor on the rung is open, then the compressor will not receive power. The open contactor only prevents current from flowing through this rung. Recall that components in a circuit can be wired in series or parallel. Ladder diagrams make it easier to see if components are in parallel or series. For example, you can see that the compressor contactor, CC, is wired in series with the compressor. Between L1, CC, and the compressor, there is only one path for current to follow. One path between components means that the components are wired in series. The ladder diagram to the right also has components in parallel. You can see that the EFR and HR are in parallel with each other. You can tell components are in parallel if there is more than one path for current to flow through a rung. In the diagram, the current could go from L1 through the EFR and then through the evaporator fan. The current could also go from L1 through the HR and then through the evaporator fan. Since current can take two paths from L1 to the evaporator fan, the EFR and HR contactors are in parallel. In this module, you learned how to read a ladder diagram. Always read the legend before looking at the diagram. Remember that a ladder diagram places the components between L1 and L2.